Well, the holidays are usually a time to share those special moments with all your loved ones, but for many, of course, this year will be totally different. That's right, and 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez tells you what you can do in case you get the holiday blues. COVID-19 may be the Grinch this holiday season for thousands of families who won't be able to celebrate together. Lisa Sastro is one of them. Last year, her family had a big gathering, but not this year. Her husband and son are with her, but most of her family lives in the Midwest. Even though we're going to be missing our family, um, especially my mother and parents and my in-laws, um, we're going to try to make things as happy and as normal as can be. And we're very thankful that we've all been healthy this year. While she's trying to be positive and cheerful, sadness is still in the back of her mind. People have a choice. Stay home, mingle with your family. It's much easier for us because our family's not here. Um, so we're not faced with that decision of do we let our emotions get the best of us and go over to our parents' house just because we need that. Rebecca Parkey is a marriage and family therapist. She says the situation could be worse for people who live alone or are already battling depression. If you kind of let yourself go and you're not taking care of yourself, that's a really big sign. Also, um, sleeping a lot more than normal or even not sleeping, staying up all night um, and not getting any sleep, insomnia. To avoid the holiday blues, not only it's important to maintain your routine, but also doing things like decorating your place or listening to Christmas songs can help. Also, try to reach out to small groups, including your loved ones, even if it's with Zoom. If, you know, you're having a difficult time, there's lots of online resources that are free and you can talk to different people. But I highly recommend just FaceTiming with your family, exercising, going outside and walking or, you know, taking your animal for a walk. And remember, there's nothing wrong with seeking professional help. Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News.